Hi there, I'm back, and guess what? I have another waffle maker to review for you. <laughs> now, this one isn't replacing any of my current waffle makers. I can see where this is going to be um, another yet another collection of mine. Um, never thought it would be waffle makers of all things, but uh, they are fun to make. They are fun to play with, with all kinds of different foods. Um, in, for those of you that are in tune with the with the issues I was having with my Presto Flipside Waffle Maker, that is in the process of getting resolved. And as soon as it does, um, I will put up another video explaining all that and showing you um, how it got resolved. And since that one's kind of got a whole story all by itself, um, I'm just going to focus today uh, on this new one here. This one I got at my local Walmart store earlier today. It is made by Farberware. And what attracted me to it right away was, first of all, it has these side-by-side -side, um, square plates. So I thought, oh, how cool to make like side-by-side uh, -side grilled cheese sandwiches or French toast or, well, yeah, and waffles. Um, but the, the, the really cool thing is the plates are removable, which is almost unheard of on something in this price at this price point. Usually you got to spend upwards of $80 or more to get removable plates that wa that you can wash. They're even dishwasher safe, <laughs> which is remarkable in its of, it, uh, of itself. Um I probably won't do that just because it is non-stick surface and you just can't tell, you know, every dishwasher is different between the harshness of the detergent and the scalding hot water that's running in there. I just don't want to risk ruining the cooking surface. So I will probably wash it by hand. In fact, I've already have. I've washed it ahead of time before using it. Today's video, I'm actually just going to go over all the features real quickly. And then I will do another video um, making something in it. Um, I tried to make a video earlier today with this going over all the features and then making a waffle. And my phone kept cutting out. It would not um run long enough to get the whole thing in there so i do apologize for that so but um we're just going to go over all the features and then uh and what's in the user manual and stuff and then i will later this week i'm going to actually cook something in it so um this is model number s and that's s like in sam 6218 it's the two slice this also comes in a four slice that also has the removable plates so let me get the box out of the way and show you what the unit actually looks like. And here it is. I'm going to move the camera down so you can see it. It's actually quite attractive, I think. Here, I'll tilt it up. Um, the whole top here, this is, this is a stainless steel plate. There are two uh, lights. There's a blue power light on the left that shows you that it's plugged in and it's receiving power and heating up and when it comes to temperature and it's ready to take batter or whatever food you're going to use in here uh, bake in here the green ready light comes on okay the rest of this housing here is i think a molded plastic although it is pretty thick it's pretty feels pretty sturdy the handle is stainless steel but what i really like about it let me tilt down a little farther is that the handle is you can see is easily a couple of inches away from the edge of the of the lid so when you're grabbing it opening it closing it whatever and it's red hot you're not going to get your fingers burned i've even tested this out i heated it up to kind of practice with it to see um to see how that performed this handle stays nice and cool so that's a huge thumbs up already okay um, there's a, it does lock closed and the only real reason I can find for that is so that you can store it, uh, standing upright like this. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. As you can see, there's a cord wrap here on the bottom You can just wrap your cord around that. So everything's neat and tidy. Um, the only thing, um, the only con I have found so far is the cord is really short, but for $17, you know, there's really not a whole lot to complain about there you have to spend a little more to get more cord but you can see this this is really not very long it's actually less than two feet long it's like maybe 22 inches long it's really not not very long at all um so i i really actually have to use it here at my coffee station because the plug is a shorter distance from the edge of the counter versus the rest of my kitchen so um to unlock the lid to open it all you have to do is, you can do this with two hands or all with one. You just need to take your thumb 
and press the top piece here, top of the lock. It tilts it open and it opens right up. There's no, um, there's no wrestling with it or trying to figure out how it works. It's just a little flange that comes loose when you press the top. It just kind of rocks back and forth. Um, these are the grates. Let me give you a little close-up view. Now, this is not technically a Belgian waffle maker. It does not say anywhere on the packaging or the user manual anything about it being a Belgian waffle maker. However, from what I've noticed, I don't know how this is coming, coming through on the video, but these squares here are fairly large. They're not real small, like in my Cuisinart traditional classic one. They're much bigger than that. But the overall depth of the waffles you're making are not that thick. I'd say... Um, I did make one first set of waffles, and it was maybe an inch thick, three quarters to an inch thick. So it's kind of like a small Belgian waffle, is because it really isn't a, a classic at all. It's it's a little bigger than that. It's a little thicker. They came out nice and fluffy, nice and golden brown. Um, I do have one left over. I can show you. Um, since when I do have another video cooking with this, I'll probably be making something other than waffles. But here's, now the lighting in here is kind of bright, so it's going to make it look kind of washed out. But it's actually very, very golden brown. And they're nice and crisp. And let me just break this open so you can see. They are nice and fluffy on the inside. You can see that. And nice nice and crisp on the outside okay so it actually does a fairly decent job for for a i don't want to use that word for an inexpensive <laughs> waffle iron okay let me show you how easy the plates come out there it's just it's it's stupid easy i mean so there's just a little i hope you can see this but they're kind of small but there's a little, like a stainless steel little catch here. It's like a little lever. There's also one on the bottom. And all you do is take your thumb and press that, and it releases. Did you see that? The plate kind of comes forward, and you can just lift it out, tilt it forward, whoops, and just lift it out. And then there's little, um, little tabs, and they are actually molded into the metal you know, when the, when the plates were made, they're molded piece of the, of the plates. And then you can wash these by hand or like the instructions say, you can actually, it is safe to put them in your dishwasher and to put them back in, you just rest it back in there. And then you just, there's a little tab here that snaps behind that lever, just like that. Same thing with the bottom. You just hit this with your thumb and it pops out, pull it out. And there's the heating element down there. And there's your waffle plate. That's the underside. Same thing. And then there's two slots there. Fit the tabs in and push it down and it locks in and you're good to go again. So it is pretty easy to use. The, uh, I actually think it's kind of attractive too. Um, it is only 800 watts. I know most of the, the nicer ones usually start around 1,000 watts and kind of go up from there. So this does take a little more time to make a waffle. Um, the waffles I made here with this uh, earlier today to test it took five minutes. This is also the basic batter uh, waffle batter recipe that I got out of the user manual, which I'll show you in a minute here. But here's the user manual. Um, this machine comes with a two-year limited warranty, and they actually, let me show you here, they actually give you a list of what's covered and what's not, and how to make a claim, how to file a claim, and it's actually in plain English. You can actually read it and understand how it works. So that's that's new. Uh, <laughs> it's Usually it's a lot of legal jargon that's hard to understand, and, and a lot of that is by design, I think. Um, but you have your safeguards, you have, uh, and here's a list of all the parts, and it's all in diagram form. And then you get the instructions on how to operate it. And then you have, here's the, there's two recipes in here. This is the basic waffle recipe, that's the one I made. And then there's also, this one's interesting, this is a whole wheat and Belgian waffle recipe, um, which I find kind of curious because this technically isn't a Belgian waffle maker, so uh, make of that what you will. <laughs> 
and there's hints and tips on um, um, how to keep it warm in the oven, which I already know, a 200 degree oven. And I think that depends on the oven. Um, I've tried that and it, it kept them warm, but it didn't get them any crispy or keep them crisp, I should say. I um, But it depends on your oven. I bumped mine up to 225 and that seemed to be the sweet spot for, for me. Um, there's also instructions on cleaning and maintenance, what to do, what not to do, troubleshooting guide. And then again, like I said before, the customer assistance page, if you need assistance with it or you need to send it back for um, a warranty issue, things like that. So um, pretty basic, pretty basic. But um, I will be doing a follow-up video uh, on with this machine. I want to try making something. I don't know what it'll be. It might be grilled cheese. It might be French toast. It might be something entirely different. Um, but I do like um, I do like the design of it. I like the side-by-side -side squares, which are which are really nice and um, and fun to work with, especially with things like bread. You know that are kind of squarish to begin with. So this is my um, this is my first review on the Farberware two slice waffle maker with removable plates. And again, that is model number S. That's S like in Sam six two one eight. And it's available at your local Walmart store. And it's also available in a four slice version if you have a larger family and need to make more waffles. Uh, all at one time. So again, um, thanks so much for watching and subscribing if you're a subscriber. And if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you again. Bye-bye.